Hi everyone. So we have seen the concept of finite automata string matching algorithm. Now let's design the algorithm for the same. So we have seen that uh, we need two important functions. That is first one to for a transition function. That's the main or you can say the hard code part of the algorithm. So let's see transition function. So for transition function, what should be the input? That is your pattern. Remember, we used to make a transition table or a automata for a pattern, not for a text and the inputs. So whatever the inputs like uh, in the concept video, we have taken A, B and D as inputs. So those will be the inputs. So you can write pattern and the input right so let's start with this so you need m that is your pattern length as usual right then uh, what you'll do for q is equals to 0 through m that is your pattern complete pattern we are going to check for each character where that a let's say belongs to z and you are going to take the k as equals to the minimum of m plus 1 comma q plus 2 that is nothing but your initializing thing nothing but initialize you will be initializing it right then you will be repeating then you will increase k minus 1 or you can say you will decrement if you are taking in the sense of minima until your p of k the not of p of q of a and then your transition function q comma a will be k that will what you are returning actually so you will be returning delta of or you can say just delta that will be none of right so this is the third step and this is the fourth step right so uh, let me tell you again it's very easy algorithm right so the transition function will take pattern as an input and input symbols so whatever the input symbols we give to automata those input symbols it will take as an input so your m is nothing but your pattern length where we are iterating the loop for complete pattern and uh, if your character belongs to z that is your automata in the case we will be taking the minimum value out of whatever the m plus 1 or q plus 2 right and we are going to repeat and decrement the value correct that what uh, we have seen we have uh, if you remember in the concept video we have created a rough automata for filling first a B and D so we filled some position remember after that we used a concept of prefix remember that's way okay so that's what we are talking about here so this is nothing but a transition function now we need to finite automata string matching in the main important important part of this was a transition function so we have calculated the transition function we will be using that here so you need t p and delta correct that is your text your pattern and your whatever delta you have obtained from the above function so here first you will take n as a text length so you will be giving a input to a automata so your text will be input to a automata if it reaches to a final state then we says that pattern exists in a text then you will initialize that q to 0 so for uh, iterating i loop 1 to n so your q will change to delta of or you can write uh, like this q will be your delta of q of p of i that is text of i that is your taking input that is nothing but for example if text is a b c and uh, okay 
so you will check see from taking here as input a where it is reaching for example it is reaching here 2 so is 2 a final state if it is not then you will again check if it is then you will print right so if you can write if q equal to equal to m that you have you have reached the final state you will print let's say i write 4 5 and 6 you will print that pattern has occurred pattern occurred at shift i minus m correct so this is the algorithm for the finite automata. Let's analyze the time complexity. So if you see here, this for loop, this loop works for m times transition function, right? This also works for m times. And if you see until, this until function is also works for m times, right? No other loop. So, uh, if I say time complexity for this function is m cube, remember? Now, you are taking transition function here with the inputs, right? You are taking transition function with inputs. So, we have already seen that transition function here is m cube and with inputs. So, it depends upon input also. So, whatever the input with the combined with the transition function that is why mq into input input symbols remember now here you are this is taking n loop that does this for loop will work for n times and nothing else right so your time complexity will become what this plus whatever we have calculated for our transition function therefore your time complexity time complexity for the finite automata is O of m cube sigma plus n if we neglect this m cube sigma because when we do an analysis we find that n is always greater than m we have seen in the uh, basic videos of string matching when we do an analysis we find that n is always greater than m that is text is greater than m in a, a conditions so therefore we say uh, we can uh, O of n correct